friends, Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead. And you know, nothing says summer like fresh peaches. My daughter and I went to an orchard that's uh, not too far away from us, and we picked a whole bunch of peaches. Well, she picked a whole lot more than I did, but I came home with about 10 pounds with the intent of having some to eat and to make some peach jam, which is what we're doing today. The great thing about peaches is that naturally they're very high in pectin, so you don't need to add any extra pectin to this recipe. The only thing you're going to need is four pounds of peaches, some lemon juice, some sugar, and some water. Super easy, super simple. All right, I'm going to bring you over, and we're going to get going on this, all right? I've washed my jars. I've washed my rings. I'm going to get the lids with some boiling water on them pretty soon. But the first thing to do with the peaches is to peel them. And so we're going to have to blanch them and then put them into ice water. You blanch them for about 40 seconds. Blanching is simply just putting them into boiling water for 40 seconds, removing them. That's all. And then that just helps for the peels to come off a whole lot easier. While I'm waiting for my water to come to a boil, I am going to measure out the sugar. And this recipe needs three cups of sugar. The next thing I'm going to do is just to score these peaches at the top with a little X. That also helps them to peel better after they've been blanched. As soon as I start the process of blanching, I will be putting ice into this bowl of water and then I can transfer it easily to there. You could also fill your sink with um, cold water, ice water, if you were doing a lot of peaches. But since I'm only doing such a few, I just decided to do it this way. At this point, the peels should come off pretty easily, just like that. I have a bowl and I am sticking my peels over here and I'm going to show you what I'll do with those after a little bit here. Now I'm going to take the pit out. There's two types of peaches, freestone and clingstone. Freestone. Freestone usually means that it will they'll come apart easily and you can get the the pit out fairly easily. If you uh, buy the cling stone, they don't come off the, the peach doesn't come off the pit very well at all. So for canning or jam or anything like that, you always want to make sure you're getting the freestone. I'm also sticking the pits in there with my peels. To keep my peaches from getting too brown, I'm going to throw in a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Now that our peaches are all peeled, it is time to make our jam. I'm adding a half a cup of water to my pot and three cups of sugar. I'm going to cook this and stir it around until it melts and then I am going to add all my peaches. In case you were wondering what I was going to do with these peels and pits and bits of peach, I am going to cover them in water and I am going to let this simmer for a little while. I'm going to turn the burner for now onto kind of a medium heat and I'm going to let this simmer because I am going to turn this liquid into peach syrup for pancakes and things like that. I know we're going to enjoy that a lot this winter. I don't like to let anything go to waste and there's still a lot of good that can come out of just peels and pits. So that is my plan for that. So the jam will come first, and while the jam is cooking and I'm doing all that, this is just going to be simmering away. All right, my sugar water is boiling and my sugar is pretty much melted, and I'm going to add my peaches carefully. Okay. 
I plan to let this cook for a little while and then use my immersion blender on it to, to make it nice and smooth. You could also put this in a food processor before you add it into the sugar, into the sugar water. But I figured I would just let it start cooking and then use my immersion blender on it. I'm going to also turn my heat down because I don't want it to scorch or burn on the bottom. So this is just going to kind of, my goal is to get this to the point where I can just let it simmer away for a little while. Technically jam has bits of fruit in it, so you don't have to even mix it too much if you just want the fruit to, to naturally break down. I probably did a little bit of an overkill on the immersion blender and it was smoother, but the end product has turned out to be just perfect. So it's really up to you and your individual choice. Now that my jam is coming to a boil, I'm going to turn my heat down and we're going to let this simmer and stir. And don't walk away from it too much because you don't want it to scorch. Keep an eye on it. I plan to can my jam. You could also just put it in the freezer if you want. I use my regular canner and use a pizza lid for the top of it when I want to do boiling water bath. Right now, while the jam is cooking, I'm going to turn this on to a medium heat, somewhere between medium, medium high, just so it can start heating up. Uh, I already have put water in it. I probably should put a little bit more in, but that way, by the time I finally get here, my water is boiling and I don't have to then wait for that. I'm going to pour some boiling water over my lids right now so that they can sit until I'm ready to can up my jam. I got sidetracked on the phone, uh, but I was stirring, but I, I'm i pretty sure we're, we're there. So the, the test when you're cooking jam, um, see how it kind of sheets off the spoon, that's one. And this is when you're cooking jam without pectin. And I'm gonna do another test. That was a spoon I had in the freezer. I just dipped it in, ran my finger through, and the jam is not moving. It is not coming back together. And that tells me it is pretty much done. Make sure your jars are covered and you start the time when the time when the canner is back to a boil which it pretty much looks like it is and you're gonna let these boil for 10 minutes my peach peels and pits have been simmering away while I my jam has been cooking I'm going to strain it out now and I'll show you what we'll do with that next. I'm just going to leave this sit for a little bit so all the liquid can strain through. And there we go. We have six beautiful jars of jam. And that was not a bad process. It does take longer if you don't use pectin, but it, it is well worth it. And peaches, like I said, have a lot of natural pectin, although it did seem like it took me about an hour to cook this down. Uh, maybe a little bit longer um, because I got sidetracked on a phone call, but it seemed like it turned out great from what I can tell so far. So it's been uh, two days since I was able to get back to uh, making the peach syrup. 
I boiled down the peach peels and the pits, and I just let that simmer while I was making my jam. Then I strained it out, and I ended up with about a cup and a half of liquid. And my intention now is to strain it again. Uh, you can see after it's sat, I think you can see that. Uh, some of the uh, more solids hit, are at the bottom and kind of separated out. I am going to strain that out to try to get a little bit more out of that. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and then I am going to make some peach syrup for us to have on pancakes or waffles or things like that. If I had done it the day that I made the jam, I could have canned it along with the jam in smaller jars. But it's not going to make that much, so I'm just going to store it in the refrigerator. And so the other thing, basically when you make syrup, uh, the general rule of thumb, I used to do this all the time for like um, just plain brown sugar type syrup for uh, my family, and you always have twice as much sugar as liquid. So since I have about a cup and a half here, I'm going to mix that with three cups of sugar and just simmer that on the stove and, until the sugar has all dissolved. And that is it. I like doing this because it is a nice way to get the maximum use out of my peaches by being able to do something with all those peels. Okay, let's get started on that. There's what I got out. If I continue to strain it, um, I could get more out, but I'm not going to worry about it. That puts me at just barely under a half a cup of liquid, so I'm going to do just barely under three cups of sugar. put two full cups and this is not quite a cup. Okay, there you have it. We have about three-fourths of a quart here of peach syrup. And like I said, I'm going to use it up pretty quick. But you could can it in smaller jars if you wanted, if you make it at the same time you made the jam. I just ran out of time that particular day, so it didn't work for me. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have learned how to make peach jam without pectin and to make some peach syrup getting the maximum use out of your out of your peaches. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, would you consider subscribing? I would really appreciate that. All right, everybody. I'll see you all next time.